Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, at Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We are available on Twitter at PMila ENT. Follow us on Twitter and follow back. Today is the 4th of uh, February uh, 2022. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. So guys, we keep on following uh, the development in South Africa and it are for our brothers and sisters who are living and working in the SA. And it are this year, Pagaipa, and it got almost like uh, 10 months now, and it got 10 months to go, and it got until uh, those uh, payments expired. And uh, they want us to actually apply for mainstream payments, or else you need to pack your bags and leave. Pagaipa, and it got so. As Zimbabwean students in neighboring South Africa have suffered a major blow after Pretoria withdrew a waiver, allowing them to apply for permanent residence uh, permits. Foreign students studying in areas of critical skills could apply for permanent residence before attaining five years post qualification experience or without submitting testimonials from employers. But South Africa Home Affairs Minister Aaron Mutualedi, in the latest circular, withdrew the blanket waiver, which was granted on April 21, 2016. In a January 31 Immigration Directive No. 2 of 2022, Mutualedi said students who wish to apply for permanent residence permits uh, to comply with the country's immigration laws by virtue of the power vested in me by Section 31.2 of the Immigration Act 2002, Act No. 13 of 2002, I hereby withdraw the blanket waiver which was granted on April 21, 2016, which waiver allowed for graduates a South African tertiary institution that started towards degrees in the area of critical skills to apply for a permanent residence permit without the need of first acquiring five years post-qualification experience or the need to submit testimonials from employees, the directive read. This come after Pretoria stopped renewing the Zimbabwe special permits ZEPs that expired in December last year and opt to give the permit to orders a year to move to other visa regimes or a first deportation. ZEP was introduced in 2009 by then Home Affairs Minister Kulsazana Lamini Zuma as a temporary solution to a growing refugee crisis related to Zimbabwe. There are an estimated 180,000 ZEP holders in South Africa. In December, ZEP holders filed urgent court application to overturn the decision taken by Muswaledi not to renew their permits. The High Court in Pretoria struck their applications of the role of urgent matters. Zimbabwe's ambassador to South Africa, David Amadzili yesterday said he would consult staff to access the impact of Mr. Lely's latest directive targeting foreign students. I've just seen the minister's directive and it is obviously going to affect a lot of Zimbabweans based in South Africa. However, I haven't had the opportunity to meet with my staff to access the impact of, of the said directive. We will be convening a meeting with my colleagues so that we can come up with an informed opinion on the latest development, Ahmad Zeripi said. South African nationals are lobbying for Zimbabwean immigrants to leave that country as they accuse them of stealing their jobs. South Africa has also tightened border control measures to stop illegal immigrants from entering that country. Analysts said the neighboring country was putting in place a student immigration measures to deal with internal political problems ahead of its 2024 elections, a member of the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Higher and Tertiary Education, Daniel Molekela, Citizens Coalition for Change, said, We must not be surprised by such measures that are being put in place to stop African immigrants into South Africa. We must actually brace for more measures of the same nature. We have in the past years witnessed thousands of Zimbabweans relocating to South Africa, and that has created a political crisis for the neighboring country. The measures are being put in place by the ruling African National Congress ANC to solve the crisis ahead of the country's upcoming polls. Some political parties such as Action SA and the Patriotic Alliance performed well in SA's November 2021 municipal elections after riding on the anti-immigration sentiment. In January, there were reports of xenophobic attacks against Zimbabweans immigrants in areas such as Deep Kloof, Rosebank and Tough Fontaine. M Mulo Kela said the influx of immigrants, especially from Zimbabwe, is a reminder of Sadiq that the Zimbabwean crisis should be resolved with urgency. 
political analyst Efin Mube said the new measures against fellow countrymen in South Africa had seriously negative effects on the local economy as they contributed significantly through diaspora remittance. Every employment policy that is implemented in South Africa, UK or any other country where Zimbabweans are based will affect our economy because the country is benefiting much from diaspora remittance, Mube said. The immigration crisis in South Africa is centered on the elections that are due in the country. The ruling party is reacting to the extreme political groupings that have become very sensitive to the continued rise of immigrants in the country. NC is adopting populist political policies to deal with its rivals and secure victory in the upcoming elections. Zimbabwe and South Africa are estimated to be around 3 million, and 3 million Zimbos, South Africa, and most of them, they really don't have any uh, legal papers. And so, that's the main issue you can get up on social media at the moment. You have critical skills, which means that even if you do a critical skill in South Africa, you should have to work for five years and you have to work visa until you are eligible to apply for a permanent residence. But I want to graduate as a critical skill graduate. I want to apply an idea to home affairs but I want to watch a uh, permanent residence here yeah. and a party to change which means that uh, by the end of the year chao na miteme ka wanda ya ku change ta ku tsaka year before nya ema labor rules again are going with the minister of uh, labor because of the pressure ya ku from other political you know parties are in south africa the smaller ones who are using ama um, uh, foreigners as a spare good and uh, so pakaipa this is a daily news breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. It's not looking good. Guys, it's already in the comment section. And remember, guys, to follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We're going to keep you guys in the loop for getting any new information regarding to uh, the situation in South Africa. Zimbabwe. We're not going to see anything. And so we're going to keep you guys in the loop here on daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Minaj TV. So many, many, many uh, children who are in the university are going to be affected. And, and those ones who are in high school who are doing metric, and those are going to be affected again with this new uh, directive. Of course, in the case, they have to look after their own first and uh, before. What I say, so some are foreigners, and so saw no shit out with us, you know, and you're gonna see a lot of changes happening this year and early next year, and it's gonna be a very, very difficult uh, situation for more, more foreigners who want to come and study here in South Africa. And so, guys, thank you very much for listening and watching our daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Men Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, and comment. Bless up.